uh, torque is mu crossed into B, and then mu is defined as IA, and then the potential energy is minus mu dotted into B. And then we saw that this has units of uh, joules. We saw that the magnetic moment has units of amp meter squared. And then the torque has units of newton meters, you see. OK, so when we uh, combine all of these here, let's put the units here, joules and newton meter. So let's give an uh, example. A wire of 26 turns carrying a current of 0.8 amps has a surface area vector. Let's put it on the next line. A is equal to So a wire of 26 turns carrying a current of 0.8 amps has a surface area vector A equals 2i hat minus 3j hat plus 5k hat. So it's some wire that is rotated in such a way such that the area vector is coming out of it. And uh, it's a three-dimensional area vector. And it's in units of centimeter square. Okay? If we took the magnitude of the area vector, that would give us the total area of the wire. right? Okay, now we're going to say there is an external B field equal to uh, Six i hat minus three j hat minus four k hat Teslas. So we want to know what is the torque on this? Uh, what is the magnitude of the torque? What is the magnitude of the torque on the wire? What would it? What would it? Uh, what would its uh, angular acceleration be? You see, it's gonna. The torque is gonna cause it uh, to accelerate. What is its initial angular acceleration? B. What is the potential energy? The, what is the initial potential energy? What is the potential energy when it is lined up with the, uh, with the magnetic field? When it is, what is the potential energy when wire is facing parallel to B. And then D, uh, what is the potential energy when wire is facing parallel? And then the D will be what is its final velocity when it is lined up? What is V final? So these are similar questions that I asked when we did the analogous problem in the electric field. When I had a dipole moment, I turned on an electric field, and I asked, you know, uh, the dipole was going to rotate, and I asked, what is the torque on the dipole? What is its initial potential energy? What is its final potential energy? Uh, so same kind of questions, but the, the only difference is now you got a wire with a loop. 
Okay, so we got to do the torque is equal to mu crossed into B, right? And mu is equal to the current times the area A. So mu is defined as the number of turns times the uh, I to the current times the area vector, right? So mu is equal to the number of turns is 26. The current is 0.8. And the area vector is uh, and then centimeter squared, so we got to change that to meter squared. That'll be um, 10 to the minus 4, right? Because 100 centimeters goes in a meter. So that's 10 to the minus 4 meter squared. So that's the mu. And then since this is amps, so it's going to be meter, uh, a meter squared amp, which is the units of the mu, right? So then we take that and we cross product it with the magnetic field. So these things come out, 26 times 0.8 times uh, 10 to the minus 4. And then I do the cross product, I, J, K, and then the 2, negative 3, 5. And then the components of the magnetic field, 6, negative 3, negative 4. So this is similar to what we did uh, back then also. We took the cross product. I hat, you cross out that and you get 12 minus minus 15, minus j hat. Cross that out, negative 8 minus uh, 30 plus k hat negative 6 minus negative 18 and then this becomes uh, this thing is 26 times uh, did that bring my calculator no okay you guys calculate it then whatever this thing becomes then you have, uh, this is uh, 27 I hat, 38 J hat, 18 minus 6 is uh, 12, Twelve K hat. So they all ended up coming out positive. Okay, then if I want to take the magnitude of that, the magnitude of the torque, so that's going to be 26 times 0.8 times uh, 10 to the negative 4 times square root of 27 squared plus uh, 38 squared plus 12 squared. So put that all in, let's see what we get. Zero point. That's it? Exactly? <laughs> That's it? Okay. Point one Newton meter. Okay. So that's interesting. Okay. So all just balanced out. You get point one. Okay. So that's the torque. And it says, what is the initial angular acceleration? So in it, uh, when this is not, uh, uh, unaligned, remember what happens, it rotates. So the initial angular acceleration is, uh, this is, uh, torque is I alpha, right? So we need to know the moment of inertia. We have the magnitude of the torque, point 0.1. What's the moment of inertia of a wire? Well, 